Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing amazing. On today's video, we're going to be doing a what I eat in a week. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through all of the different recipes that I make with a focus on protein and also there will be a focus on balance as always because I do live in New York City and I love going out to eat with my friends and just have a few events this week. So I know there will be elements of my week where I am not cooking, but I'll bring you guys along and I'm so excited. Just got back from a workout, which was really nice. I just did some Pilates on my roof and now I'm gonna have breakfast. I had my greens earlier in the morning while I was journaling. This is from the brand Huel. I have really been liking it. I just add one scoop into their little bottle. It also tastes really good and I used to think that I hated greens and I was never gonna be a greens person. So I'm actually very impressed with myself because I love it now. And for my breakfast, I am going to be having some overnight oats that I prepped last night. So I'll show you guys that. I'm also gonna be making a matcha. So come along, I'll show you how I make it. These are some chocolate protein overnight oats, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt and cinnamon on top, and this is my breakfast. Last night, I just added one half cup oats, some chocolate protein powder, a half a tablespoon of chia seeds, one tablespoon of almond butter, and then three fourths cup of almond milk. Shook it up, and here we have it. Added a layer of Greek yogurt on top. Kinda looks like tiramisu like this, and I'm here for it. Wow. Delicious. I'm so excited about this. Let's do a taste test. Are you kidding me? Wow. Mmm. Let's make a pistachio matcha latte. I'm so excited. My new favorite matcha is this one from Peak. It comes in these little mini packets. So you already have the perfect amount of matcha just sectioned off and it's so quick. This matcha is also super high quality. Like you can literally taste the quality. Put it inside of my beaker. Boom. I cover it with a little bit of warm water. Really important to make sure that your water is not boiling because if you do that, it really affects the taste of the matcha. Ready? I'm using some vanilla unsweetened pistachio milk. This beaker is the best because no spills. How freaking stunning. Voila, we have our matcha. Wow, so beautiful. I'm also going to prep my water. I have been really loving adding fun powders and fun things to my water because it just helps me want to drink the water. And one of my favorite things to do is to add electrolytes to my water. Peak actually has this BT Fountain electrolyte mix. It's like a little pink powder. I've been putting this in my water every single day and it's so incredible. Love. The pink is gonna match my little pink set. How cute is that? <laughs> in my Barbie mood, can you tell? There you go, my pink drink is ready to go. This test, so perfect. I feel like I tend to have pretty dry skin. And during the summer, I'm out in the sun a lot, working out outside, so I sweat a lot. And so staying hydrated and replenishing my body with electrolytes and with minerals has been a big priority for me and that's why i'm absolutely obsessed with this peak bt fountain because it's so easy to integrate like literally there's no prep i just have to put this into my water as you guys saw so this is something i've been really really loving and also you guys know i'm a matcha girl you know i'm picky with my matcha and this is by far the best one that I've tried so far. And also Peaks Matcha has chlorophyll and antioxidants, which helps your skin look dewy and glowy. So this combination has been giving me literally the best glow ever. And I'm so happy about it because I feel like it just makes me look more radiant and it makes me feel more confident. And so I'm super excited because Peak gave me a special offer for you guys. If you use my link in the description and you decide to get these for yourself, which is literally a game changer, you will get a free beaker and also a frother included in your order oh yeah definitely check that out if you guys are interested and i'm gonna enjoy my matcha i'm gonna enjoy my overnight oats and i'm gonna get started with some work so i'll catch you guys at lunch hello you guys it is now 12 30 and i'm going to make lunch i am going to be using basically the leftover stuff that i have for my meal prep that i made last week if you haven't watched the video that's up on my channel and then for my protein which i don't have any more leftover from the meal prep I'm just gonna make some chicken sausage that I have. I'm gonna make two of them, which gives me 28 grams of protein. Let's get to it. Take greens to the bottom. Kinda like to just chop them up. 
my bell peppers that I had made, leftover baby potatoes, asparagus, sprinkle just a little bit of quinoa. I'm adding in the dressing, which I just mixed some Dijon mustard, balsamic, a little bit of olive oil spray, and coconut aminos. We have a gorgeous finished product. Our lunch is ready. I'm going to also defrost a little bit of salmon for dinner. We have these two pieces of sockeye salmon that we got from Whole Foods that were in our freezer. So I'm just going to put them in a little bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. I'll come back for it later so I can marinate it. So nice to have a roof. So I brought up my lunch up here and I brought my Kindle. So I'm just going to read a little bit, get a little bit of sunshine, enjoy my lunch break. This salad turned out amazing. I love the dressing also. It's a little later in the day. I just did some work, recorded a video that I needed to get done, so I'm feeling really proud of myself. Also, I tanned a little bit on the roof after having lunch, and look at this tan line. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I used to live in Florida. My family still lives there, and I miss the sun. I miss feeling tan like this, and so... I feel very confident right now. I'm gonna go on a little walk to the park. Before I go, I'm gonna have a snack because I'm a little bit hungry and I also will show you guys what I'm doing for the marinade for the salmon that I'm gonna make later tonight. Let me show you guys that first. Let's make a snackerino. Tupperware. Keep it pretty simple. I just use coconut aminos for the majority of the marinade. So I coat it in the coconut aminos. It's my favorite soy sauce alternative. It just has less sodium. This is my favorite brand. It's the Coconut Secret. And I'm generous with the garlic powder. I just put it all over. A little bit of black pepper. Paprika. And then I flip it over into the marinade to make sure it's coated. I'm going to just pop it into the fridge. Now time for a snack. I'm gonna do a little cottage cheese snack because cottage cheese, the great thing about it is that literally half a cup of this already has 14 grams of protein. So it's such a good snack to have. A slice of this bread. I'm also sipping on a Barbie swoon. And we have one slice of the Applegate or turkey breast. We moved through this quick here in this house. So this is six grams of protein. And this is probably gonna be, I wanna say like seven, 13 grams and then three grams in the bread. I could have two slices. I kind of want to keep the snack the lighter side because I want to have dinner in like three hours. I'm going to put my slice of bread, like two large tablespoons, basically one fourth cup. Adding that to the bread, turkey on top. Just pepper actually. And there we have it, our beautiful afternoon snack. Mmm. -hmm. I'm back in my athletic look I'm going to take some sea moss i have a friend called anna who lives in la and this is her company it's called akasha superfoods and she sent me this and you can technically mix this into like water and just have it with a drink but i personally just like kind of like having it by itself so i just kind of go like this and sip on it and i find that it honestly tastes amazing so i sip on this yummy Last but not least, before I leave for the walk, I'm just gonna take this with me. I'm gonna put another one of the Peak Electrolyte packets because it is so hot outside and I wanna do something good for my skin, for my glow. So, popping my little packet in there. I'm also going to pop a couple of ice cubes in there. We're ready for our hawker walk. <laughs> Already halfway through my bottle. What a beautiful view! I'm having so much fun. It's a good podcast. Yay. I am back from my walk. Wait, why is it so zoomed in? Stopped at the grocery store on the way back. So I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I got. Some of the things are for later this week, and some of the things are for dinner. Okay, so I grabbed some thinly sliced good seed bread, which I love from Dave's Killer Bread. A little bit of cilantro, whole peeled tomatoes that are organic, one red bell pepper, and some parsley, and a little onion. This is for shakshuka, which I want to make later this week. Also grabbed some fresh basil for pesto, which I'm going to make right now. A little bit of turkey breast and some hummus. 
I love using hummus as the base for my dressings. This has amazing ingredients. I'm going to put these basil leaves into a bowl and I'm just going to soak them in some vinegar. Also, I love the smell of basil so much. And a little bit of white vinegar. I like to boil water in an electric tea kettle before just so that it's faster. I feel like the pasta and the pesto are not going to take that long, so I'm going to pop the salmon in the air fryer, which is also relatively fast. So let me do that now. Reducing it to a simmer now. turned out so wonderful so perfectly creamy and delicious it's my first time making avocado pesto so mm. yes a little bit of everything but the bagel you want to do a little taste test salmon is really good it's approved mm -hmm. What about the pesto pasta? Give me a sec, give me a sec. <laughs> that it's made of avocado? Yeah. Yeah, it's just avocado, which is good. Sexy. I've never tried fish in pasta and it's really good. You love it. Bon appetit. <laughs> Tuesday. Just made my greens. I'm gonna have them while I journal very quickly. And then I'm heading out to a really cool event that's hosted by Meta and the Instagram lifestyle team here in New York. There is a workout, a meditation, a panel. I think it'll be really, really fun. So I'm excited to attend. And I kind of want to eat something before I go. I know that they're gonna give us like juices and stuff there, but I don't know if there will be actual food. Cheers. These greens are so good. Cheers, 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 cheers. I'm heading out for my event, so I'm going to pop some electrolytes in my water. A little pink drink. Here's to a good day. Event. It was honestly a very fun event. I met some cool creators. We had a lot of interesting discussions also about being a minority within the content creation space and creator burnout. And we did a meditation and a workout. And then there was the little fireside chat. And the smoothies were very good, but they were not very filling to be honest. And I had them like an hour and a half ago. I'm gonna make myself a matcha and just do a little bit of work. And then I'm going to make myself lunch, which is gonna be kind of like a brunch vibe. I'm gonna make shakshuka. <laughs> my Tash pistachio vanilla almond milk and sweetened. So an exciting thing happened today. I set up my new walking pad that I got on Amazon for Amazon Prime Day. I feel like I've been a little bit more sedentary recently, so I've been trying to walk a little bit more, and I'm excited to just do that in the comfort of my home and to just be able to get some steps in while I get work done because I do a lot of productive work while I'm walking on the treadmill. Really exciting investment. I also have had a standing desk for so long, so I needed the walking pad to make the office complete, and this is what it looks like. I ended up working for honestly longer than I expected, so it's now 2.30 and it's time for a shakshuka! I'm so excited because I've always wanted to try making shakshuka. Four ingredients, I have some pasture-raised eggs, one red bell pepper, a small onion, a little bit of minced garlic, and then for my herbs I have parsley and cilantro. I also have a can of whole peeled tomatoes, and then for seasonings we got cumin, 
paprika, olive oil, and some salt. And I also am going to be using this thinly sliced good seed bread to eat the shakshuka with. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt on top as well. Small bowl, like a little handful like this. So I got my cilantro in there. It's parsley as well, around this much. A bit of my filtered water and some vinegar and just let this soak. Peel off this first layer of the onion. straight on the pan, just on the little coaster. Okay, you guys, this shakshuka turned out absolutely phenomenal. I'm so happy. I've been wanting to make this for so long. Grab the bread, add a little bit of the tomato, a little bit of the egg, maybe even a little bit of the Greek yogurt. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's getting messy. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. Delicious. Hi, beautiful people. It's a little bit later in the day. I just was doing some phone work laying on the couch because I got my period. I was just resting, snacked on a couple of grapes and like three tablespoons of cottage cheese. Like very random, but when I did a little something, and I'm having a bit of tea now. I'm brewing it on this cool mug that I have where you can add loose leaf tea to this kind of strainer and then it makes a tea and once it's done i just take off this little silver thing i'm going to read a little bit I'm going to rest wait for a picture to get home and for dinner i'm gonna make a cauliflower rice stir fry Here's the finished product for dinner. This was very quick. I think it was less than 30 minutes. Did a mushroom cauliflower rice and then the air fried salmon with quinoa and parm and a little bit of the leftover pesto on top. Time for the taste test. I drove back from work. A different day, same spot. It's really good, but we ate salmon yesterday. So it is oh yeah. Do you like the crisp? If I didn't have panko, I would have done panko. That's good. Very good. The quinoa does add good crisp, I will say. Pedro wanted dessert, so I made us a little sweet treat using my friend Angie's recipe from Instagram, and it turned out amazing. Mmm, it's really good. <laughs> Good morning friends i just woke up and did my first part of my morning routine so i cleaned up did my morning greens my skincare my journal i'm about to go work out in the roof and then my groceries arrived because i ordered them on whole foods delivery so i'm going to give you guys a little grocery haul of all the things that i got and i'm excited because that means that there's going to be a lot of yummy food for the rest of this video here's everything that we go massive grocery haul time all of this i'm pretty sure it was 150 dollars i pretty much always get the same fruits strawberries 
blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, tomatoes, and bananas. And then I got two lemons as well. For veggies, I got Brussels sprouts, spinach, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and then some shredded carrots, which I'm excited to. I'm gonna be using for a specific recipe that I want to make. I also got skirt and feta cheese. For my proteins, I got maple, turkey breast, ground turkey, turkey bacon, ground beef, chicken breast, and chicken thighs, and some garbanzo beans as well. And then lastly, some tortilla chips. So I'm going to put everything away, go do my workout, and I'll catch you guys at breakfast. I love yellow kiwi, so I'm gonna have this before I go work out. Yellow kiwi is so sweet and so delicious. I just blow dried my hair so that it looks cute. I do this a lot like after a workout I just quickly dry it so that it doesn't dry out all messy. I'm really craving like a mint chip smoothie And I've never tried making one at home. So I'm gonna make one. Let's just get into it The final product is here and it tastes amazing it tastes like a treat. It's so good and the mint just adds the best flavor to it. You have to try the smoothie recipe. I'm going to enjoy this, do a little bit of work, and then I'll make a matcha in a little bit. It's matcha time, baby. I'm warming up my water. Let's do it. I'm spicing things up today and I'm gonna put the Plump It Up Collagen by Apothecary into my milk. How pretty. Cheers and off I go to my meeting. Woohoo! Wait, this one tastes so good. chicken thighs as well so I cut off the excess fat from the chicken thigh first salt pepper paprika garlic powder All right, the pan is warmed up, so cooking the first side. My beautiful lunch is ready. I ended up making this amazing salad that was honestly super easy. We have spinach, cabbage, cherry tomatoes, shredded carrots, feta, lemon, and a little bit of olive oil. And then I quickly made some chicken thighs and added one and a half to my plate. Balanced meal. I'm gonna go eat in my roof and read a little bit, take a little break from work. friends it is 6 30 p.m i stayed on the roof for like two hours just reading tanning a little bit and i'm going to make a little snack right now i am doing a tarot reading in 30 minutes and i will then do dinner after that so i want to have a little snack that will hold me over i have kind of a headache and i realize it's probably because i went too many hours without eating earlier so i'm gonna have this little snack and then I'll have my tarot reading, and before then, I'll take a quick shower also. I'm gonna have a pretty simple snack, just a little bit of skirt with blueberries, maybe some hemp hearts on top. This much yogurt, handful of blueberries, all those antioxidants, that fiber. I'm going to throw in some hemp hearts for some healthy fats, and some crunch. A little bit of cinnamon. And here we have our beautiful snack. Stunning. Simple, protein packed, fiber packed, balanced, delicious. Look at that thickness, so good. 
so good. It's, it's now dinner time. My tarot reading was incredible. I can't stop thinking about it. It was so good. And we're gonna be doing kind of like a breakfast for dinner. It's kind of in the mood for like eggs and turkey bacon. So Pedro is making her turkey bacon. We're gonna scramble some eggs and then I'm just gonna make a little sandwich with it, I think. Here is the finished product looking absolutely stunning. You're already halfway done. Oh, so hungry. Taste test time. Mm hmm. Very good. It's soft, but it's also crunchy because of the turkey bacon. I just did a quick 20 minute workout at home because I have to leave in like 25, 30 minutes for a really exciting event. I am actually going to a Samsung and Meta event. I'm going to be a speaker in this round table. So excited for that. And I'm just going to make myself a little yogurt bowl because it's super quick and easy. And then I'll also make myself a matcha and I'll start getting ready to go. Quick and easy matcha has just been my obsession of the week. <laughs> Fully, the pistachio milk makes it so yummy. Time for the yogurt bowl. Let's get it. One scoop of chocolate protein. Lots of blueberries. Pencil of blackberries. A mini drizzle of almond butter a little bit of hemp hearts. And voila. Yummy and easy breakfast. My matcha was four minutes and the yogurt bowl took like four or five. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Blackberries honestly give a really good crunch. Hello you guys, the Samsung event went amazing. It was my first time being like a speaker on a panel and I felt like I was living at my vision board. Like it was so special, it was so beautiful. Everyone was so nice, got great feedback on the conversation. People said they loved what I shared. Also heard from Snapchat and this company called Howl, which does creator affiliates, partnerships, things like that. And it's time for lunch, I'm hungry. I have the idea of getting lunch at this amazing spot called The Well. It's a place where I've gone to before to get like, energy healing. They do facials, they have a sauna, they have like all these different amazing services. But they also have a cafe. Fingers crossed that it's open because I'll be able to secure some very healthy eats and yummy eats too. So I'm almost there. It is. Got this gorgeous hibiscus tea. How pretty. Stunning steak with root vegetables and asparagus. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Having a little post dinner dessert. Good 
morning hello you guys I had a little bit of a longer routine today because i journaled for like an hour or like 40 minutes and i had my greens and i had a magic mind shot and half of a banana before i went to go work out magic mind shot is kind of like a matcha shot so i went i did a really good sweaty workout outside it was amazing from the soul sync body app it was like a arms and back and abs kind of workout with weights and i did five minutes of breath work now i am back and i am craving a smoothie i'm going to make this almond crunch smoothie i'm so excited <laughs> Check this out, how stunning! One of my best pieces of work in this whole video. I'm so excited to try it. Mmm, wow. The texture is absolutely perfect because I do like my smoothies to be thicker. But I'm curious to hear from you guys, do you like your smoothies to be thicker where like it takes you longer to sip through it? Or do you like them more watery? Because I don't know if it's my straw or the smoothie, but this is perfect. Oh, it's absolutely perfect! You guys have to try this one. Like you have to recreate this because it's way too good. <laughs> way too good. Mm -hmm. Friends, I'm having a great day. I'm feeling so productive. Recorded a whole podcast. Got two ad reads done for my podcast. I answered all of my emails. I created content. I recorded a recipe. Like so much being done. We'd love to see it. We'd love a productive Friday. And now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make one of my favorite easy, healthy, and quick lunches. It's gonna be a Taco Bowl. So I'm gonna make some grass-fed ground beef on the pan and then I usually add it to a bed of greens with chopped tomatoes, avocado, I'll make some crispy chickpeas on the air fryer, put some chips, we'll put some yogurt, it's just gonna be so good. And let's go make it. Let's get it started. This is a grass-fed ground beef that I'm using. I really like this brand. It is organic grass-fed ground beef, 93% lean, 7% fat. product i mixed everything together and i like kind of like breaking up the chips and eating them like this or like just putting them on top and mixing it all together this picture is beautiful please no my, greens my. this is probably my top favorite lunch yeah i do kind of like cutting the lime chips and just kind of mixing them into everything mm -hmm. A little while later, I cleaned the entire house and it's 8 p.m. now. We're going to go watch the Barbie movie at 11. And so we are hanging out at home for a bit. Picture <laughs> stop. We made some mocktails with the Aplo hemp non-alcoholic spirit. A little bit of ginger ale. I used diet ginger ale on mine. And then some yuzu and it tastes really really good so we're gonna go have this in the roof and then we're gonna have a little bit of 
dinner here before we go to the movie theater. I'm doing a leftovers dinner. This is the chicken thigh that I made earlier this week and the salad. As I was cleaning the house, was also organizing the fridge. And I chopped up some of the cabbage that I had and threw it in the oven. I'll include the recipe in the guide as well. But pretty simple, just olive oil spray, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Some hummus on top as well. And voila, you got a beautiful balanced dinner. guys it's saturday morning it's around 10 a.m we slept in just a little bit i mean it's still pretty early for a weekend and we're going to have brunch right now we're going to try a new spot in brooklyn i am looking forward to it because i'm hungry and i need caffeine i love trying new restaurants during the weekend and going to just have a good time and especially saturday morning brunch for me is like one of my favorite things so let's go We wanted a little snack, so you guys guessed it. I'm gonna have a little bit of turkey breast pulled me over until dinner. Pedro made a little bit of brown rice for us, and I air fried some salmon using the same recipe from two days earlier with just coconut aminos, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. And this is my finished plate, just pretty simple, and then I used the leftover of the salad that I made earlier this week also. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's a really sunny day today. It's so beautiful out. Pedro and I went out yesterday for a friend's birthday. They got home a little late. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired, but I am excited for breakfast, and I'm just gonna keep things pretty simple. I'm gonna do a little yogurt bowl with fruit and some almond butter, and it's gonna be delicious, so. One scoop of vanilla protein. Raspberries. And I'm going to chop like a fourth of this banana in thin slices. Okay, yummy butter. And voila! Yum. I feel like whenever I go out, I get very lazy the next day and my first instinct was to be like, let's go get breakfast out, like let's go to a coffee shop or whatever, but honestly there's nothing that I love the most in a home-cooked breakfast and this breakfast specifically, mmm! It's so easy and it literally took four minutes. So why not just make one at home? I'm having brunch with Maya. Came to a hole in the wall in Fai Dai and just got our food. It looks so good. So we're so excited. It's a little Australian cafe, which is my favorite type of food in the world. And I got the chili scrambled eggs with bacon. So I'm excited. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed following along a week in my life. I hope you got some inspiration on different meals you can make for yourself. As always, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a free PDF in the description with all of the recipes that I made for all of the things that I cooked at home, as well as a grocery list with all of the things you would need to make those recipes. That's there. For you. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like and subscribe so you can be in the loop of all my future videos and so we can be YouTube friends. And I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Mwah.